Hello everyone, welcome back to Liz and Friends. Today we're starting a chapel series, a Christmas chapel series, and I have Natasha with me. Hi! Yeah, Natasha likes to come out when we talk about Christmas. Yeah, because our name means Christmas Day. That's right. She likes talking about the birth of Jesus. Yeah! So, our Christmas Chapel series is called Miracle in Bethlehem. Yeah, because they're talking about the miracle of the birth of Jesus. That's right. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about four different people who were involved in the birth of Jesus, the miracle of that story. So today, the person that we're talking about, we're going to start learning about is in Luke chapter one. We're going to start with verse 26. And do you remember who we're talking about today, Natasha? Yeah, Mary. Yeah, Mary, the mother of Jesus. You're getting ahead of us. I'm sorry. So in our story today, an angel appeared to Mary. Ah! Yeah, kind of like that. I want you to picture what you think she would have done. Natasha kind of gave it away. The Bible doesn't say that, you know, she screamed like Natasha did. Ah! But the Bible does say that she, the angel said, do not be afraid for the Lord has found favor upon you. And so that gives us kind of a hint that she might've looked a little uh, scared. It doesn't say that she screamed though, but we don't know, maybe she screamed. But the angel told her to not be afraid. The Lord found favor upon her. And do you remember what else she, the angel said? Then Mary is gonna have to eat Jesus. That's right. And. She was a little confused. She's like, um, I'm not married. How is this going to happen? And the angel explained it to her. Yeah, he said, by the power of the Holy Spirit, which is a little weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. It had never been done before and it's never been done since. But this was the one thing that had been prophesied uh, ahead of time in the Old Testament of how baby Jesus was going to come. And uh, Mary, after hearing everything, said, Hey, God's will be done. Yeah, she agreed. She said, I will follow whatever God wants of me, which was crazy that she, despite her fear, obeyed God, which brings us to her point for the day of, I want you to repeat after me with Natasha. Okay, Natasha. Okay. I will believe. I will believe. Even when I'm afraid. Even when I'm afraid. You see, Mary was afraid. And, you know, her fear probably didn't stop after that angel explained some things to her and then left. Because she kept facing different things. Because, you know, that wasn't normal, what she had to deal with. And everything that she had to end up dealing with with Jesus as he's growing up and as an adult, she had to face fear multiple times. But she still believed in what God had said and what the angel told her. Because the angel was giving message from God. Wow! So we can remember Mary when we face different things that we're afraid of. Because just because it's Christmas time doesn't mean we don't face hard times. Just like she experienced the miracle of Bethlehem, the miracle of Jesus, she faced some hard times, but she still trusted in God. So you can trust in God even when you are facing hard times in your life. So Natasha, before we leave, you want to say the memory verse with us? Yeah! Okay, repeat after me with Natasha. For unto us a child is born. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called. And his name will be called. Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah 9, 6. You see, Isaiah was in the Old Testament, and this was one of the many prophecies about what Jesus would be. So, you know, Mary might have known the scripture, which would have helped her get through everything she, her fear that she had to deal with because she believed in God. I hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, guys.